So today we're bringing back five minute rebuilds. I've seen a lot of comments recently that bring back five minute rebuilds. Like we just, we need some sort of rebuild in our life. And I get that you guys want normal rebuilds. You guys want something to change it up. And let's do five minute rebuilds. I feel like that's kind of a good thing to do. Hopefully we can get a deal agreed on so we can get baseball back in the very near future. But in the meantime, let's do some five minute rebuilds and just kind of start cranking out some teams like that. So today we're gonna start with the i don't really know who to start with let's go with like the worst team let's just go the marlins you know let's let's just do it let's just do it where where are the marlins we're gonna do the worst team in the national league the marlins and let's just have some fun with it so let's hop into it um for you guys that don't know the roster that i'm using it is the most recent roster from rioting rosters everything is going to be left alone and how these work is i have five minutes from when i make my first trade to make all the moves that i do so i'm talking trades and free agency signings and last year you guys said i could move my lineup around after the five minutes so i didn't have to worry about that um, at the beginning or like during my five minutes that was allowed to be uh, some changes that i can make after the five minutes so let's quickly take a look at the lineup for the marlins there isn't a player that i want in the minors i want to focus clearly on like this team so with this in mind let's see what we can do i definitely want a new shortstop i definitely want maybe a little bit better of a right fielder but i think for like glitchy players the team kind of has a glitchy offense it's the pitching that i definitely want to focus on so bullpen i want a closer i want at least two bullpen arms and then Ooh, do I need to bring up Jose Arana? Is that someone that I need to bring up? I do. Is he worth bringing up though? I think as a long reliever, definitely. And then try to get like two or three bullpen arms, maybe get one or two starters. So what's that, like six moves in five minutes? And it normally takes me over a minute or two to kind of think about what trades I want to make. So um, I'm going to trade six though. I feel like that's a move that needs to be done. And then what was it? One, two, three, four, and then what one of these guys was number five right so let's go with probably alcantara and let's try to find a starter right away someone that i know is gonna work Ooh, bring back chris paddock that that might just be the first one right off the bat like that might just be the move that needs to be done so keep it short keep it simple on the intro let me pull up my timer so that we have five minutes to work with and uh, as soon as I hit accept on this trade, we're going to start it. So in three, two, one, boom, five minutes has started. That's our first move. So we got one, two, three. Um, Jordan Yamamoto just doesn't do well until a couple seasons later. So let's try to find another another starter. What about John Gray? Oh, that is a possibility. So let's get rid of Edward Cabrera, Tyler Cole. Let's just get rid of somebody. I don't care. Mackenzie Mills. There we go. John Gray. That's our second starter. I said I wanted at least two or three. Pablo Lopez is usually good. Caleb Smith is pretty solid as well. And uh, so, f you know what? I like those two moves right off the bat. We do need one more starter that I feel comfortable with. Who is that going to be, though? Who could we move? Um, Max Meyer, I know, is just not one that I like is going to be useful for a one year sim. So let's try to find somebody else that I'm like, ooh, they're going to be really good. Um, Sevy doesn't work. What about Shane Bieber? Ooh, that's not too far off. Could we get Shane Bieber in this somehow, some way? Oh, definitely. If we throw in like JJ Blade or another A potential player, come on. We've got to have somebody that would make this work. Maybe not. Okay, so Shane Bieber is not going to work. And we're already down to under four minutes. Okay, so we got to move quickly. What about Sean Minaya? Okay, what if we can get one of their kind of glitchy bullpen arms? Like JB Wendel Wendelkin. There we go. That actually, I'm cool with that. That is one of the bullpen arms I was looking for. So I need a closer. Ooh. Who are we going to do um, here? Who are we going to try to get here? Who is kind of glitchy? Works like kind of on a cheaper contract too because we don't necessarily have a lot of money to work with. And what about Giovanni Gallegos? Could we get Giovanni Gallegos? Who would be... I hate to do it, but like JJ Blade is going to get the deal done. So that might be the move that has to be made. Or maybe like a Jazz Chisholm. And then throw him like Chad Wallach. There we go. Giovanni Gallegos. We got our closer. So far, I'm, it's it's going pretty well. We'll swap these out. Go Giovanni Gallegos here. Just so I can... I know 
I can still change it afterwards. I just want to kind of get a picture of where we're working so far. Jose Arrhenia is going to be the long reliever. I want at least two more, two more bullpen arms and maybe a shortstop. But we're already down to like two and a half minutes. So let's try to get at least a, another good bat in the lineup. Could I get Glaber some way? Some some way? Is it possible? That's that's what I'm trying to get at here. Um, no. But I definitely think we could get a really solid hitter, Bo Bichette. Perfect. Okay, there's our shortstop. Now let's just get some bullpen help, and I think that's a pretty solid five minutes right there. So, who's normally pretty good? Michael Lorenzen. Um, let's get rid of Stecken Rider there, and then who else could we get rid of? To, oh, perfect. Lewin Diaz, toss him in the mix, or maybe uh, who could we trade to get this deal done? John Birdie. Boom. Solid. One more bullpen arm, and I think that should be good enough to turn this team around. How much time do we have left? Minute 30? Ooh, a minute 45, actually. That's that's plenty, plenty of time. So, I feel like a lefty could be pretty helpful. What is, or who's a good lefty? You know what? Let's just go to, like, a player that I know is going to do well most of the time. And then let's throw him in the mix. Ooh, maybe not Yimmy Garcia. What about Ryan Cook? And then maybe like BJ Lopez. Perfect. And finish it off with like a JC Millen. So far, so good. We have a minute. Let's take a look. See what we can do with this team in a minute. That is actually like really, really solid. So Lorenzen setup guy. We've got, oh yeah, this, this team is looking set. Um, let's see if we can change the lineup at all. Because like Rojas is going to get swapped out for Bichette. Uh, maybe a right fielder. How much time do we have left? 45 seconds. All right. What kind of right fielder could we get that's kind of glitchy and does well? Hmm. Could we sneak in David Dahl somehow? If we can't and the time runs out, that's not a big deal. Like, I'm not going to freak out. But if we could get him into the team, that'd be kind of nice. So, I don't think we're going to. I think time's going to run out before it it's a possibility like we're at what probably like 10 seconds right now 20 seconds still Ooh, maybe it is a possibility maybe not just based on the fact that the money is kind of a problem at this point so i don't know i think i'm pretty happy with the team you know they may not it may not be the best team but in terms of it just being like super glitchy come on give me nader boom got the deal done as time expired whoo that was a that was a close one indeed like it literally was as time expired getting Fran Mill in the lineup that's 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 a big move so let's go set up the lineup really quick I think this is kind of how I would want it maybe just move Garrett Cooper down and go like this this is probably what I'm gonna rock with for the the offensive lineup the the normal lineup what people would or just the lineup is what people would say and then pitching wise probably go something like this and then i'm probably gonna send down boxberger so let's just let's just do that now we're gonna send down boxberger call up orania and i mean that was actually a pretty pretty productive five minutes for sure um kind of go like that that's not too bad at all like i'm pretty happy with what we were able to do actually we could just go, go like that I'm pretty happy with what we were able to do in five minutes. That's pretty good. So you guys can see starting rotation, bullpen, and then, of course, the lineup. I'm going to make sure I change the lineup off camera so that you guys don't have to sit here and watch it. Um, but this is kind of what it's going to look like without the the DH because obviously DH isn't going to play a factor here. What That's going to be the pitcher, right? Right? Yeah, this is going to be pitcher. So this is what the team is going to look like. For the most part so this is our non dh lineup and i think for five minutes that was pretty good let's see where we're ranked now in baseball still 21st uh, which is a little disappointing but i feel like we've definitely turned this team around and in five minutes let me tell you it takes me a lot longer than five minutes to figure out some of the trades that i do um so even just like one trade sometimes they take me like 10 15 minutes to figure out so to do that in five minutes is pretty impressive for me at least so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make sure all the lineups are set up make sure the pitching rotation looks good i think 
for the most part, that's this is what I'm going to stick with. We don't really have anybody else that I feel comfortable bringing up. So this is the team. I'll see you guys at the end of the season, and we'll see how this team plays out. All right, so I thought we would have been a little bit better. We did make the postseason 91 and 71, which is impressive. We, we made the postseason. You know, the Marlins haven't done that in quite some time. But let's take a look. So, oh yeah, the, the Nationals popped off this year. We would have, we would have need, we would have had to have been like perfect throughout the year to make this happen. But as a team, the ERA at 3.8 is not terrible, not terrible at all. The average around 260. Okay, so definitely an impressive change from what the Marlins normally would be. And uh, no league leaders, which is disappointing. And then awards, we had a gold glove, which, um, you know, man, Josh Donaldson popping off with 50 home runs and a 312 average. Okay, something's wrong with this. Something's wrong with this situation here. If Josh Donaldson's popping off for things like that, I'm not saying that he's not capable of it, but we don't see that happen too often. So let's take a look. Let's see how everybody did. Matt Strom, pretty impressive. Pretty impressive season. Even Jose Arrena did pretty well. And then you guys can see the rest of the stats. Kinsler struggled a bit. He was kind of my one question mark. But for the most part, I'm pretty happy with everything. Oh, Michael Lorenzen. Yikes. Not, not what you want to see from your setup guy. John Gray struggled a little bit. Shamanaya did as well. Caleb Smith did well. The whip was a little high, but pretty good. And then Pablo Lopez did pretty solid. So some, some disappointing acquisitions like Shamanaya and... Uh, John Gray didn't do as good as I would have hoped, but you know what? At least it wasn't like horrible. So Jonathan VR, meh, you know, Bo Bichette, he hit 30 home runs, but like the average in the OPS is kind of low. Corey Dickerson had a good season. Uh, Jesus Aguilar did as well. Fran Mil Reyes, pretty solid, 31 home runs. I'll take it. That's what I was looking for. I was just looking for him to score runs any way possible. Brian Anderson struggled a bit. Uh, Gary Cooper kind of switched time between him and Aguilar. He actually had a decent season. Uh, Jorge Alfaro did decent. 22 home runs for a catcher. Solid. Yeah, he struck out a crazy amount. But I guess it's not terrible. Um, and then Isan Diaz, again, not terrible. So it wasn't not nothing too impressive. Kind of just mostly just it wasn't terrible type situation. And they got the job done. That's really what it comes down to. And let's hop into this game against the Mets. We're going to quick manage it, obviously, and see if we can advance. Oh, I accidentally hit back rather than move forward. So let's keep going. And uh, I feel like Chris Paddock's probably our best bet going against the Mets here. And uh, let's see if they made any changes throughout the year. It doesn't look like it. Looks like a pretty standard Mets lineup. So, okay. Jeff McNeil going deep, making it 2 nothing right from the get-go. Not what you want to see. But um maybe our offense will warm up at any point soon would be great you know okay didn't score there but at least we have two hits now so that that's a good thing to see all right chris paddock's probably done here let's go uh let's go arania and he gets us out of it so it's three nothing and our offense is just non-existent oh there we go okay we're within one that's okay we can work with that brian anderson gets out Alfaro ties it up and then Hassan Diaz. Okay, so who are we gonna go with here? Probably Matt Joyce, right? Oh, okay. Oh, I mean they still brought in a righty, so that works for us. And then Jonathan VR strikes out. So that that's kind of a bummer. Ah, uh, lefty, righty, lefty. The thing is that that righty is super scary. So let's go Wendelkin. Got the double play. Perfect. Eighth inning. Can we strike here heading into the ninth? Maybe Brian Anderson, Jorge Alfaro grand slam are you serious oh okay and then gallegos maybe he shuts the door for us there we go we're advancing what a way to do it jorge alfaro have yourself a game and as we head into this matchup against the dodgers all right so pablo lopez i'm actually yeah i'm i'm fine with pablo lopez going for this game we do lose and if we lose here it's it's season over but that's that's pretty impressive what we were able to do. So, um, they have a lot of lefties. I'm going to go Sean. Oh, do they have Mookie, Turner? Who's at first for them? Muncy? Then Ja. Oh, man. They might have actually switched up their lineup a bit. You know what? Let's go. Let's go Paddock. Let's go Paddock. We'll see how it goes. Um, 
Hopefully we can strike early. Yeah, I guess we could have gone a bunch. We they have that heart of the lineup that's like all lefties, but I still feel good. We got to run in anymore. Another one. Okay, that's cool. As DJ Khaled would say, another one. Then Asan Diaz goes deep. It's three nothing. Wow. Okay. So far, so good. Only two. Okay, three hits allowed. They do get a run in, but Kershaw's out. That's a good start for us. And Paddock is. Can he get one more inning? He does. Perfect. That is fantastic. All right, let's go to Wendelkin. I feel like he's a little bit, has my confidence a little bit more than what Lorenzen does. And uh, can somebody get on? Uh, one run lead. It comes down to Gallegos. And he shuts the door. We're taking on the Cubs. Whoo, okay. This is the one, though. I definitely want Paddock. I mean, like, everyone's pitching really well, though. So let's just... Hop into it. I mean, John Gray's struggling for sure. But he gets us the win. We get a win there. Another win. We swept the Cubs. We're taking on the Twins in the World Series. Oh. Okay. You know, like, no biggie, right? What is going on with this team? This is insane. And then against the Twins, we're going to get swept. But at least we made the World Series. That was kind of like the whole purpose of the five-minute rebuild. Can we make the World Series? We're going to throw in... Pablo Lopez and let's see what we can do here so we do allow a walk right at the beginning which is a little worrying but we're going against Randy Dobnik I'm hoping we can we can do something just not get swept that would be great we're down to nothing and uh not the best we don't okay we got our first hit there bases loaded two outs and Asan Diaz can't deliver hmm three nothing and Pablo Lopez is up so I'm just gonna take him out now we're gonna go Matt Joyce he gets on because of an error and then, like, we can't even do anything there, man. That is just not what you want to see. Matt Strom, probably not the right guy to bring in. We're going to take him out. We'll go to Reina, see if he can eat some innings. But at 6-1, to one, I'm feeling like our season's over, unfortunately. And uh, it's, not, it's not looking great for us. Matt Kemp couldn't do anything there. And we do get a run. So it's 6-2. to two. If we can get a couple runs here, that'd be great. He strikes out. <sighs> JB Wendelkin comes in gets us out of that and then we're gonna pinch hit go to cooper come on any like we've had chances we've definitely had chances to do something we just we just didn't do it like we've had bases loaded runners in scoring position we had a chance to come back into this game and we just we did not take advantage of it at all so that right there is the end but we made the world series which is insane playoff mvp goes to Corey Dickerson for the NL and Max Kepler for the AL and I'm pretty happy with that five minutes to turn this team around that is impressive I I liked it it was a good challenge for sure I hope you guys did as well if you did hit that thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content and of course guys get in the comment section let me know which team we should do next for a five minute rebuild I'm gonna leave you guys with two videos on screen now go and give them a watch if you haven't yet and that's it guys I'll see you in the next one peace